door for Tony Goldwyn. Set racing, the Ambassador, one of the first to jump into stride. Uh, going fast as well was Favoured Grace. So the Ambassador will lead the way a length and a quarter. Favoured Grace, Lord Chamberlain, goes to third. On the outside there of Zamex, then a break in the field to Sidero Star. Uh, it's on the inside of McGill and Mr. Wind is at the tail of the field. The Ambassador travelling well, Jim Byrne for Tony Gullen and is out by a length and a half. Second placing favoured Grace at this stage. Zarmex is parked third defence. Lord Chamberlain is next on the outside. A break then Sidero star McGill and Mr. Wind just starting to improve between runners at the end of the field. Around the turn the Ambassador is the leader and burst away. Jockey Jim Byrne said, let's go. And at the 200, break away by three and a half. So Max is trying to sprint with this uh, one, the Ambassador, but it's nicely clear. The Ambassador for Tony Gollan will be eased on the line by two and three quarters, I reckon, to favour for uh, second placing Zar Max. Now third may have gone to Mr. Wynn, making up a stack of ground at the end. Then came favoured graces in that photo for third. The next one is the Nero She travelled well. She thinged out good and travelled well. Um, the leader just took her off the bit, just coming up around the corner. And to me, at that stage, she was probably just starting to knock up a little bit as well. But it's like she got a second win late and wanted to come a little bit at him again. And, and she's blown up over the rump a bit, so there's improvement in her. And That's I actually good. think she's travelled well because on field, she felt terrific. And good through the line, well, looks like, yeah. Yeah, like I said, she seemed to get a second win and try to come at him again. So, yep. thanks, Steve. That's good. Thank you.